What's up everyone, Rick Johnson here, Director of Golf at Pro Kids Golf Academy. The goal of these videos is to take complicated golf terms and explain them in a simple way. In this episode, we're going to explain the modern pivot and show how it can help newly retired 10-year NFL veteran Matt Slauson with his golf game. Let's get into it. The quick explanation is the older pivot is a lateral swing while the modern pivot is a rotational swing. Let's focus on the body first. Side by side in a swing. On the left side is the older pivot. On the right is the modern pivot pattern. In the older pivot, players were taught to load up on the trail side and have their head and upper body move away from the target. The most common example used was a quarterback about to throw a deep pass. In the modern pivot, the trail side is extending with the leg straightening. The older pivot starts with a lateral shift of the hips towards the target, compared to the trail hip driving down, while the upper body does a slight forward lateral bend. We want our weight slightly on the left side, with our hips level, knees level, width in the knees, and a slight right lateral tilt. With the older pivot, you are now rotating your upper body to try to catch up to the lower, while the modern pivot has you exploding and extending through impact. Let's compare the pivots with a golf club in hand. The older pivot's lateral shift creates an angle which is shallow, but also creates a position that modern instructors commonly call dumped under. Seen here with my hands left of the chest. The modern pivot transition move also gets a club shallow, but now my hands are right in front of my center line. Being dumped under limits my rotation through the hitting zone. From my hands in front of the chest, rotation is much easier. Stopping just past impact, we can clearly see the rotation difference in the chest and hips between the older and modern pivot. Now, let's take what we covered in the modern pivot and use it to help Matt Slauson's golf swing. Looking at his swing from down the line, at the top position, his right leg has too much flexion. As he swings towards the target, his hips stall and he has no rotation. From face on, his transition move starts with his body sliding towards the ball. At left arm parallel to the ground, he has too much weight on the left side with his left knee having too much flexion, causing his right hip to be higher than his left, eliminating the width in his knees. Recapping the modern pivot, we should have our hips and knees level with spacing between the knees. From this position, he has nowhere to swing and is forced to early extend his hips as he falls away from the target during the forward swing. Doing the foam roller drill, by exaggerating his hips and knees in transition, I knock over the foam roller. The two drills I'm recommending for Slauson are the modern body pivot and the foam roller drills. We'll check back in with him in 30 days and see how he's progressing. At six foot five, 330 ish, once Slauson learns a modern pivot move, it'll be a scary thought to golf balls everywhere. Please hit the like button and subscribe as we increase our digital content.